Hello, good afternoon, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cynthia. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how I arrived at this beautiful dress you're seeing here. Okay, we are going to concentrate um, basically only on the what the upper bodice, that's the front part. Okay, so if today is the first time of coming to my channel, please make sure you subscribe so you always get notified whenever we upload our videos. And also, at the end of the tutorial, if you find it very helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also share with your soulmates. So right now, I'm actually making this um, dress for myself, okay? I'm actually making it for myself. And um, I'll be using... I'll be first of all drafting what? Um, a pattern. Then after the pattern, I'll... Uh, trace out the fabric and then we'll start sewing so this uh, tutorial is going to be divided into what okay i'm going to make it one tutorial the drafting and also what the, the making too um it's going to just be two in one okay so but in some aspect of the tutorial we are going to be very fast about it so bear with us okay right now you're going to need a basic bodice okay you need a basic bodice and then after the basic normal basic body you draft out your what your two okay we have a basic bodice this is it i used uh my net to draft out what the basic body so i have a video on how to make a basic bodice okay so i'll put the description below so you go and watch it so i'm going to set this aside and then we are going to make what the bust here okay so um I'll be minusing um, five inches from my bust here, okay? I'll be minusing five inches. So I'll be minusing five inches, five inches from my off, um, off shoulder, okay? So the bust point I'm working with is 10 inches, the under bust is 16 inches, and then I'll be adding extra three inches for my allowance. One, two, three, okay? So you can decide to add extra half. You can see I'm making for a bigger, a plus size. So I won't be adding the normal one inch allowance, okay? I'll just stop it at this place. The armhole I'm working with is nine inches. So I'm going to make my lines visible, then we'll continue. have a video on how to make bust here okay but because i want you to understand this very well that's why i am um starting from the beginning so the nipple to nipple i'm working with is five inches okay five inches all the way five inches five inches So I'm going to take um, one inch on this area, then one inch on this area. Around this area, I'll take 1.5, and then here I'll take one. So I'm going to connect from the waistline towards the underboss, the underboss. So the distance from the boss point to the um, underboss is much. So I'll come down by 1.5. Okay, just come down by 1.5. 1, 1. So I'm going to connect this. And then I'll connect this from the bus point to So uh, I'll try and smooth in the bus tier area. Okay, just try to smooth in it. Okay, so now I'll take my measurement. The bust I'm working with is 48 divided by 4. We have 12 inches. The under bust is 42 divided by 4. We have 10.5. And then I'm going to add the um, that allowance I collected. You add it back. 
then we also add three inches for our allowance you know me i like using enough allowance then the other waistline i'm going to use 11 inches for my waist okay like i said i am making this um cloth for myself okay then the darts two inches we added back plus three inches for allowance then the bust i'm adding back i'm adding three inches for my allowance too the shoulder i'm working with is 15.5 divided by two we have um 7.75 then these darts just make sure you add them add it back we have 2.5 here then i'm going to connect okay connect to the armhole and then we connect all this using the highest measurement we use the highest measurement so now um we're not going to end it here um like the picture you are seeing on the screen you discover that um there's a yoke around this area so i'm going to come to this place i'll take half inch okay then i'll come around here i'll take one inch okay so i'm going to connect it together okay but before i connect i am going to get my neckline okay remember we minus five inches so i'm taking my neckline at um 7.5 which is here then from here i'm going to curve that sweetheart part okay so that to give us that sweetheart effect so it's this way and also remember this paper this pattern paper is folded it's not folded into two okay uh let's assume it but let's assume it's folded okay if you're cutting your fabric you should fold your fabric please don't forget that so once you get your neckline um, what the next I'm going to do is I'm going to come around here. I'll take one inch Then here we'll take half inch. So I'm going to connect it So Since we've altered this I'm going to take um, withdraw my new um, Neckline Okay, so I've done that so once I do that around the neck area around this area i'm also going to what make a curve too so i hope you understand what i'm doing here i also make a curve and then i'll take it into what my armhole you saw what i did there so just make a curve okay so this is it so i'm going to what cut it off like i said i am basically um focusing on making just the front part that's the lesson for today okay but it's going to be a gown and then also the the, the sleeve is going to be a a basic sleeve but if you look at the the gown around the sleeve area there's something that looks like an armor i don't know if you if you are conversant with watching korean movie that thing, whenever they wear that, they are armor and all that. On the sleeve area, there is something like a shooter that right there. You can see at, on the picture we are looking at right now. So, we are going to also make that. But well, first of all, let's cut this out. And then I'll show you how to make that. So, um, we are going to cut it out now, okay? So, let's cut it out. So I'm going to start cutting it out, okay? So let's cut out. So this is it, okay? So I'll cut out this. going to cut out this place okay so 
this is for the front part okay let's set this aside so this is for the front part okay um the back is going to be just a basic bodice okay we're not showing the back like we said this is just for the front okay you can try to use any bodice you want princess that whatever you want to use okay so this is for the front so now let's do that um that armor sleeve okay let's do it so once we are through with it we now start cutting out our work our fabric so in order to get the armor kind of sleeve um, what you're going to do, you're going to get your pattern paper. So we get our pattern paper. And you're going to make sure that uh, this place is on fold, okay? Here is on fold. Why here is what's opened, okay? So now let's try to smooth it. Make here straight. There is not straight. So try to and we'll cut it out. Now it's straight. Now you're going to determine how wide you want it. Now it's going to look something like like this, okay? So you determine how wide you want it. So now it's going to sit this way. So to determine how wide you want it, you're going to measure your armhole from here. Hope you can see from here, from here to the back. To this place at the back so you measure from here to the back depend on where you want it to be so mine is 10 inches since the paper is folded into two this way 10 divided by two we have five then we'll add one inch for allowance so now we've, we're able to get this side okay so now we want to get the from here to here so it all depends on how high you want it to be okay so let's see how many we have here we have um, five inches here so which means you're going to add extra one for to it sorry extra half inch to it so half inch okay so now once we get that you're going to connect this way so as you can see we have connected it so um we are going to cut it out So this is it. So each of the sleeve, each of the sleeve is going to be two. So we are cutting out two, okay? So now what I did for this was that I cut out two for it. So each of it has double gum stay on it. But you can decide to use um, um, peplum stay, that very hard one, depending on how hard you want it to be, okay? So you see, this one is hard enough. You can decide to use your gum stay I doubled the first part and doubled the second part, brought it together. It gave me what this. So you decide what you want to what do. So I'm going to go ahead and trace out what my bust here. So as you can see, I have gone ahead to trace out what my bust here. Okay, I'm using this velvet fat material for what. For my work today now there's something you should know about velvet okay if you are using a velvet um, fabric for your work and for for, uh, for example maybe you don't know how to what to line it up especially if you're using a stretchy one this is what i usually do i usually use a, a material stay okay so if you watch very closely um after i finish cutting i use a material stay a black a dark material stay then immediately after the material stay, I now added my gum stay to it. Then after the gum stay, I added my what? My wording. Okay, I've tried this severally and it's worked out very well. Okay, I'm trying to show you the, uh, you can see this is the black um, material stay on it. Okay, so after that, I added my what? My gum stay. Now, I usually do this only on bust here. Okay, for example, you want to make for the back bodies. Okay. There's no need of using your gum stay. Just use only your what? Material stay. I, I promise you your work will come out what? Very beautiful and um, you will like it. So if you're finding it difficult to work on your velvet material, start using a what? A material stay. Okay, just go to the market, ask them of the material um, stay, okay? The material one, not the hard one, but the light one. Or better still, you can still go for what? For hair stay. 
So once we are through with this, I'll go and join it, okay? And then also, I also cut out my lining exactly this way. I've also cut out my lining exactly this way. So I'm going to go and what? And start joining on my what? On my machine. So let's go and join and then we'll come back, we'll show you. So as you can see, I've gone ahead to what? To do my joining, okay? So I've joined it, okay? So this is it. This is what we got, okay? So now, right now, I am going to also go ahead and use my lining to what? To turn it up, okay? I've also joined my lining, so we are going to go and turn it up, okay? So you turn up this way and that way. So let's go ahead and what? And turn up. So you just go this way, like this. You turn up everything. So we'll come back and show you the finish work, the finish look. Then we will now go into the business of the what of the day. Now you know how to cut it. You know how to do your joinings. So right now we are going to what go and join what the lining together. Now if you don't know how to join a bustier, I have so many videos on how to join bustiers. I'll just put the link on, on the description board. Bust, just go and watch it. Okay, I have videos on how to join bustiers. Okay, so I'll put the link for you so you go and what and watch them. Now I've gone ahead to uh, to um, close up the work. Okay, you can see, I've uh, used my lining to close it all. Okay, and this is it also. So now let's go into the business of today. You're going to get that basic body. That the net you cut out. Okay, so we're getting the net. So this is the net. Make sure it's a basic body. Okay. This is our net. Now I cut out two of this net and then I doubled it. So you should double your own or better still, you can make it one, but I had to double my own. So the concept is this. Um, we're going to place it this way. You can see this way. Yes, I know you are getting it better. You're understanding what I mean. So you're placing this way and this way. So it's going to be like this and then like this. So, so this is it, okay? So I'm going to go and run it through. This one, so we run it through and then we hold it once this way. So you can see, okay? So we go again, like let me say again. I'm going to go and run it through this way here and here this way and here and then we'll come and show you but before you do make sure your net is well ironed make sure it's well what ironed okay all right so make sure there are no um rough edges just okay so let's go it's going to be this way and then this way so i'm placing this way so once i am true i'm come i'm going to come and show you what how it looks what it looks like all right so let's hit the machine i usually do this okay if you're finding it difficult to place uh, this on your work this is what this is a, a trick i have learned now this is my awful street chair okay this is an awful street or oh, just look for a foam now pin um your match your net round okay pin them round so once you have pinned them round, you can see it's not moving. It's not going anywhere because you have pinned everywhere. I've used my pin to hold it on what? On the foam. So now get um, the material, your your bust here. Get it, okay? So we are going to look for the center. Now this is the center. Just try and draw, draw so that you know where your center is. So this is the center, okay? So now you're going to place this way. Depend on how many allowance we put here. Remember, it, it was um, um, one inch upward, then here half inch. And then also, um, when I was cutting the bust, I forgot to tell you to add your allowance here, your joining allowance. So I added it, okay, off camera. So you should also add your what allowance. So you're going to bring it this way again. So you can see. Hope you can see what I just did here. Okay, so now I'm going to start pinning, okay? So now we have it here and here. Make sure here is half inch, then here should be around one inch. So let's start pinning. 
So you're going to take it easy, eh? very easy, gently and pin. So as I'm pulling off, little by little, I am what? Pinning. And the reason why I'm doing this is because of my beginners, because of the uh, new beginners that always that is coming for the first time. And not only that, for people who are finding it difficult to work on match material. Okay, so you just go ahead and try those tricks out, okay? Remember on a foam, just try it out. And be careful while you are doing this. Be very careful. I are doing it okay so I've been able to secure um, this place and make sure your linings are inside so I've secured here so as you can see I have secured here I'll just use one to teach us then I'll go off camera and finish the rest so you can see I'm trying to secure it one thing about this is going to make your work appear very neatly okay going to make it neat make sure this um the lining is inside so once i'm done with this i'm going to go off camera towards to join this okay so try it out okay just try it out so um i'm through with um stitching it so you can see how beautifully it's looking with the cup okay so you can see all right so right now like i said i'm the owner of this cloth i'll also be wearing it to church so i wouldn't want it to be this exposed so because of that i'm i'm going to be embellishing it okay I'm going to use um pearls not pearls bead you know bead now you about call it eleke bead that bead you use for making your your neck bead and all that i'm going to use it towards to um embellish this place i also use um this bead towards to um embellished what the sleeve so this is it okay this is the sleeve part so the same thing I did to the sleeve, I'm also going to do it here. So I'll teach you how I what I arrived at what at this. So just keep watching. Don't go anywhere, okay? So in order to start, you'll be needing your glue gum, your gun gum, okay? It's can you can see it's on. Okay, this is called gun GT10. I call it gun gum okay glue gone or whatever anything glue gone gone glue whatever you want to call it okay so you need it and also you need you'll be needing your your beads so i just copy paste copy paste okay that's what we're going to do so we just copy and paste so what you do is you press it this way it's coming out a little just small and you paste Stand up and do it. Copy a little and paste. Okay, you don't want it too much. Just little tap and paste. Tap and paste. So as you are doing, you make you discover that some gums are on it. Just try and make it look neater, okay? So you copy 
I call this copy and paste and paste. Okay. Don't worry. Don't don't worry about this. When once you finish, you can remove it. Just take it gently, little by little, to get there. Now you can also use your gun glue or glue gum gun for any kind of work okay it's not just only for pasting beads we use it for putting our appliques especially if they are smaller appliques okay sometimes instead of um, stitching with your needle and thread you can also use this to hold them okay so i'm going to do this off camera i'm going to continue off camera then i will show you the finished look and then I'll join it to other of my bodies. Like I said, we are focusing just mainly on the front parts and on the armor on the sleeve, okay? So we are going to come back to show you how far we've gone. we've come to the end of this tutorial i hope this tutorial was very very helpful please do not forget to subscribe see you again in my next class bye